Today, I'm going to show you how to add working horror to your Gorilla Type fan game. I did make a tutorial on this uh, before. I have made a tutorial on this before, but the jump scare didn't really work, and that it was just it was not very good tutorial. So this one works a lot better, and yeah. So the first thing you want to do is there will be two scripts. There will be two scripts. Link in the description to Google Docs. One will say monster navigation. The one that says monster navigation. You want to just take all the code. And then copy it. And then go to your Unity project. Go to your scripts area. Then right click. And create C sharp script. Name this monster navigation. Capital... M, capital N. So now once you made Monster Navigation, you want to click Open. Then delete this code that's here. Then you want to paste in the one from the description. Then click File, Save, then X out of it. Now go to the other link in the description where it says Jump Scare Script. And then take all that code, copy it copy then go back in your unity project in your scripts area right oops right click create c sharp script but this time call it teleport gorilla player teleport gorilla player so capital t capital g and capital p so now that you have teleport gorilla player mono script Oh, what you want to do now is click the open, and then take all the code, delete it, and then paste in the jump scare script code from the description. Make sure to file and save, and then X out of it. So now that you have the scripts in, uh, you want to make your horror map. This is a really dookie map, but I'm just going to use this as the example. And I'm going to use this monster that I got off a of Sketchfab a couple minutes ago. So I'm just going to grab this one. So first thing you want to do is take your monster and just put it on your map. So I'm going to put him right here. Boom. Now he's on my map. So yeah. Now you want to click on your monster. I'm going to name him Monster. But you can name him whatever you want. Uh, you want to add, or, okay, sorry. So now that you named a monster, you want to click Window. Then go to Package Manager. And then it, where it says Packages, you want to click on that and click Unity Registry. And then search up AI. And it'll say AI Navigation. And then you want to install that. So once you've installed that, click back on your monster. And then add... A nav mesh agent script component, I mean, and then add the monster navigation script. So now, once you've added those, uh, where it says monster navigation, uh, where it says uh, detection range, if you turn on gizmos, this like red circle around him is the where he'll sense the player. So I'm gonna make this like nine that's a pretty good detection range i think or maybe eight oops eight yeah that's good so then monster speed wander i would put something like this to two and this one i would probably put to 6.5 now where it says agent it says none you want to take a nav mesh agent and then drag it in then where it says points what points are is basically when you put your points around the map, those are that's where the monster will go to. So it'll go from point to point. So you want to create an empty object. Make sure it's an empty. I got my empty right here. Hold on. Uh, create empty. So now I have an empty, like, right here. Make sure it's, like, to where your monster can reach it. It's not like under the floor or anything like that. Just put it like here. And then just scatter these around the map. So 
just copy and pasting an empty game object. So after you've done that, you have all your points. Uh, there'll be a bunch of game objects. I'm just going to name these. I don't know. Points. Now click back on your monster. And then click this lock button. And then click off of the monster. And then it select all of your points. And then drag those into points. Now you want to click. Now you want to unlock it. And then click the monster again. And then this time where it says tag string. Make this body with a capital B. Now, go to your assets, go to resources. Where is that? Resources, Photon VR, and then player. All right, so now in your player, you want to click on your uh, head, body, or sorry, <laughs> yeah, head, body, left hand and right hand and make the tag body so add tag click the this plus make this body with a capital b click save then i'll click those again uh where is it right hand left hand body and head make those body so now after you've done that, uh, you want to make it to where the, the monster can actually walk on the surface. So click Window, AI. If you don't see AI here, uh, that's what the, the Unity package was for. So AI, then Navigation Obsolete. And then click on the floor of your, th of your map. And then click object up here. Then where it says navigation static, check that and make this walkable. Then go to bake and click bake. So now you need to select every wall in your map. And if you have objects like boxes, you would also need to select those. So I'm going to, yep, here we go. Here is every wall, as you can see. Uh, go to object, navigation static, but make them not walkable. And then click bake. So now, uh, so now the monster can actually move around on here, but we want to make it to where it can jump scare you. So click on your monster, right click, 3D object, cube, and then just make it as big as your monster. So basically, when uh, the player collides with this is when it gets jump scared. So I think this is good. Uh, you want to turn is trigger on. That's very important. Make sure is trigger is on. Then add the teleport gorilla player script to it. Then there's all these things. Or it says gorilla player. Open up gorilla rig. And then drag in gorilla player. Where it says objects to disable, again, you'll have to uh, click this lock up here and then click off the object and then select all your walls like I have here and then drag in all your walls into objects to disable. And then where it says teleport location, you just want to like... 3D ob create a 3D object and a cube. A cube, it just makes it like not lag or whatever. Cubes are the best for teleporting. And then put it to where you want to teleport. Like me, I want to teleport it in this safe zone. So I put my cube here. And then I'm going to remove box collider, remove mesh render, and remove whatever that is. So now it's kind of like an empty object. And then call this respawn so now that you got respawn you want to click back on the jump scare cube on the monster now where it says teleport location just drag in respawn or where it says wait time i would say 1.5 is the best and where it says teleport overlay 
this is the actual jump scare itself. So now to make a jump scare, I made a tutorial on how to animate in Unity. So what I'm gonna do is get my monster. As you can see, here's my monster. And then I'm gonna drag this monster, not the monster that's in your map, create your, a new monster, and then drag that into your main camera. So open Gorilla Rig, Gorilla Player, and then drag it into main camera. And then name it like, I don't know. I don't know, just name it like Jump Scare or something like that. It doesn't really matter. So now, you want to line it up with the main... Oops, what? Hold on. Cancel. You want to line it up with the uh, main camera. So as you can see, I'm lining him up with the camera here. Boom. Boom. As you see, he's right by my camera. So now I would recommend using Pro Builder for this. So I would probably just create a new shape, make it a cube, and then create this around your monster to flip and flip the normals. So like you're in a cube. You don't have to do this. Just this could just make it look a little bit better. So yeah. I'm just gonna make this black. Do I have a black texture? I don't think so. Boom. Make this black. All right, you don't have to do this whole pro builder thing. You can just like line up your monster with the main camera, but I just did the pro builder thing. So it like, I don't know, I guess it looks better. Uh, so now what you want to do is animate your guy, like, I don't know, moving around, jump scaring, whatever. I'm just going to move his head. So I'm going to make the jump scare go like, ah, what the heck? <laughs> so I'll just go to window. And if you don't know how to make an animation, just watch my how to make an animation in Unity tutorial. All right, I think this is a good animation. It's not the best, but I'm just gonna do that for now. So now, yep, there's my animation. Like I said again, if you don't know how to make an animation, just watch my tutorial I made in the channel. So now that you have your animation and your whole, your jump scare guy or whatever, uh, what you want to do is just, is just uh, click on your jump scare guy in your main camera and uncheck it so it disappears. Make sure the jump scare is disappeared. So, boom. So now you go back to your cube thingy the jump scare cube, where it says teleport overlay, open gorilla player, main camera, and then drag in the jump scare you just made. Then where it says teleport sound, you wanna click add component, then audio source, right here. Turn play on awake off. Go to audio, and then make it uh, whatever sound you have. I have this jump scare sound. So I'm gonna drag your audio into your audio source, and then drag audio source into teleport sound. So now uh, you also want to, uh, on the jump scare cube, I'll just name this jump scare, cause why not? Uh, the layer, make it non-walkable. If you don't have that, click add layer. Then anywhere here, just do non, oops, walkable, yeah, capital N, capital W, and make sure there's no spaces. So yeah, just add the layer, non walkable. And then turn off the mesh render so you don't see it, you just see the monster. 
So now, uh, click on your monster again, and then click Add Component, and add a Photon View. Look up Photon View, and you'll see something that says Photon View. Click that. Then you'll see something else that says Photon Transform View. You also want to click that. So now on Photon Transform View, you don't want to, you, want to, you don't want to change anything. But on Photon View, where it says Ownership Transfer, change that from Fixed to Takeover. Where it says Synchronization, change that to Unreliable on Change to Reliable Delta Compressed. So now that's basically done so if i let me move my player over here as you can see you can animate the guy like like i said watch my animation tutorial so you can animate him but since i uh, i didn't animate him he just looks like he's floating around so as you can see he's going to his points right now and here's my player I'm gonna take him and then take him out of the safe zone and make him go over to the monster. And hopefully this works. Oh shoot, as you can see he's speeding up. Oh, he chases me. Boom, it sends me back. Yeah, it works. So I know it looks weird when uh, it's like everything turns, well, black. Or what am I saying? When all the walls disappeared, but that is supposed to happen, so it can teleport you back. So now, as you can see, he sees me again. He is chasing me fairly fast. Holy crap. But as you see, oh, I'm juking him. Oh. <laughs> as you see, now he lost me, so now he's going back to his points. So yeah, that's how you add a no networked AI and jump scare system to your Gorilla Tech fan game. Uh, yeah. Also, if also if you are moving and like running, and then the monster catches you, it won't like glitch out. So hold on, let me lock the main camera. So now, oh, there he is. Oh shoot! As you see. Yep. And I have my sound turned down, but the sound did play. So yeah, that's how you add horror to your Gorilla Tech fan game. Everything works. Bye.